today I'll be showing you a typical productive day in my life, so keep watching. Hello? What? Huh? What? What'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? Okay. Hey guys! <laughs> I've been doing this for a while. Why am I like getting flustered? Good morning, it's 7 a.m. Am I in the camera? No, it has Why? to be me first. Hey guys, so today I'm doing a productive day in my life as a as a college student. But I am in college. <laughs> I'm like not even enrolled. <laughs> Just to clarify, I am in college. It was a joke because it doesn't seem like I'm in college and here's an explanation in 10 seconds. Basically, I go to the school in the Philippines and I'm currently studying nursing. I moved there after high school, but then COVID happened, so I moved back home. And now I've just been doing online classes ever since at night because of the time zone difference. So my free time is during the day and my school is at nighttime when I do have school. But in this video, I don't have school. It got canceled. I'm here with my friend Ashby. Hi guys, good morning. Good morning. <laughs> it's currently 7 fucking a.m. Because this bitch goes to the gym at 7 a.m. productive. We're just gonna go to the gym and we're gonna have a study day after at a cafe. And then we're gonna eat Chipotle. Eat Chipotle. Uh, I'm just kidding. Sponsored by Ashby. Sponsored by Lance with the revenue collected from this video. So everyone, please support the video. <laughs> Do not skip throughout to help his algorithm. Yeah. How about we try getting monetized first? <laughs> okay. We'll see you at the gym. Are we gonna film at the gym? Maybe. So yeah, I finished the book that I was reading. What was the book about? It's Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. So give us a review. I would rate it a four out of five stars. It's not five because. It's not timely. The book was written after the depression happened. From the concept of the title, you have to think to become rich. You have to have that mindset of like persevering and having that willpower. One of the quotes said, if you can control yourself, yourself will control you. Something along those lines. You have to have the willpower to persevere, to get rid of habits like procrastination, like fear of criticism from others. Literally anything you want in your life is possible. The only thing making a dream impossible is the fear of failure. And why would you think something is impossible when someone has already done it? Maybe in the slightest bit, think it's impossible if it's never done before. No one knew the light bulb could possibly exist except for Thomas Edison. It was impossible because it didn't happen before, but then he did it. So even the things that have not happened are possible. So why would you think your dreams or your goals would be impossible? It's like TED Talk segment. More at 11. We're at the gym. Really understand me. I need a comma like I need a Grammy. She likes to flow with her designer panties. Yeah, we eat a penny, check the pantry from the sound waves to the rebel lines from the tattered bridge. Do you mind giving me a talk? Yeah. Can you give me a lift off? Oh, no, no. I might not hear this. Oh, no, you don't. Thank you. I can slide till I get arthritis. My heart is icy. Walking past the bouncer like I knew somebody. Queen of Kelly Cloudy or the poison ivy. But from like a stroller with a coast sign, me, I don't even like me. No, I'm staring in the mirror in different poses. He claimed me the winners to shy, but Timmy, the riddles were. Left the tag Lavender. Sponsored by Lavender. Who's Lavender? She's a YouTuber. Life is an art. Make it your masterpiece. Ooh. So yours must be abstract. This is the quote of the week. Awareness is the greatest agent for change. Wow. Red See? Red I'm telling you. Signed by Simon. Simon? Oh. <laughs> My brain cell at the gym. <laughs> okay. Oh my 
god, I just wanted to listen real quick. Oh, we're gonna get copyrighted. Bitch, you're not monetizing. <laughs> So we just got out of the gym and the cafe. Today's been a very productive day. When we would go to the gym together, we don't work out together yeah. because we're more efficient when we work out separately. I personally, well, I, I don't really like working out with people unless I don't really you, like working out with yeah. people either. I feel like it disrupts my focus. Yeah. It's hard for me to focus sometimes. It, it, it is distracting. <laughs> it's like, distracting. Especially like when we work out together. We, we have tried multiple times to we, work out we together. Time, we're we were just talking. We were on that <laughs> bench for an hour talking about everything and anything. Thing. We could just be going to the gym for the social aspect, not for the actual <laughs> health and wellness part when we work out That's together. why we're like those kids in a middle school classroom. Like they have to be separated because they talk too much. We're like those kids. I had a pretty good gym day. I like only was able to do three movements, but I felt like it was very effective. I squatted. Yeah. You worked out in less than 45 minutes. Me? Yeah. Yeah, that's how... I and that includes warm-up and changing. Yeah. Okay, efficiency. Yeah, my workout was like 37 minutes. I need to cut down my workouts because... Oh <laughs> Okay, continuing on. So yeah, today, what did you work on today? You didn't even tell them. I did. I deadlifted. But what? I what did body leg part? presses. I did lower body. I'm fighting. <laughs> I, I fucking did lower body. <laughs> Have you been consistently working out? Yes. I go every single day. I've actually forced Lance to come with me to the gym today at 7 a.m. So what are your thoughts on the 7 a.m. crowd? I, I, think it, I think it makes me feel more productive. I like seeing the sun right? when I go outside. Because usually when I would wake up, I'm like, oh, like, oh the owls are out. <laughs> Just being in the presence of the sun like seeing like makes the me feel more productive and energized. I am more energized in the morning, but I'm more creative at night. Like the brain works at night, but the body works in the morning. But when you study, do you prefer to study in the morning or at night? I feel like I have to study early morning. I just don't prefer like to I, study at all. Like I just don't. I just, I just don't, not to. Uh, yeah. I opted out. I clocked out on that shit. <laughs> Chipotle time. What'd you get? I got the chicken bowl. So she got the whole farm. <laughs> I ordered the whole everything. I ordered all of them. Meat, pork, and veggies. So I got chicken, the brown rice, lettuce, and then also secret tip to make it taste better because you know without it it's mid. I get the salad dressing and then you know saving money we got water cups. So you're saying you got the whole inventory. That's yeah. why there's a long line inside. They have to restock everything because <laughs> they, they're in the back butchering right now. I got the chorizo. I got the chorizo. I haven't tried it but I'll try it right now. Sorry that the last update was at 3 p.m. and it's now 2 a.m. the next day. There's honestly... I did go to Verizon and upgraded my phone to the new iPhone 13 Pro Max, which I made an unboxing video that is probably uploaded by now, so go check that one out. To get this phone took almost three hours. So basically what happened is that we waited at this store for almost an hour, only for them to not even like acknowledge us because they were helping out other people. So then we were like, okay, let's go to a different location. We did arrive at that location, but then there was just so much confusion going on with like the plan, the phone, like how much it actually costs when trading in. So a lot of discussion had to be discussed but i eventually got it and then after that i filmed that video and i just knocked the fuck out like i took a nap so yeah i've just kind of been playing around with the phone but i haven't done one of my objectives for today which is to actually read and that's one thing that i've been trying to make habit this new year is to actually read at least like 10 pages every day right now i don't want to overwhelm myself with these big goals of like reading a chapter every day reading for an hour straight every day i kind of just want to make it a goal to build this habit of picking up my kindle and start reading and yeah just become second nature to just pick up this kindle and start reading it i actually finished the book that i was reading which is think and grow rich highly recommend i think if you have definite clear ambitions in mind that will really solidify your mindset when it comes to achieving those goals but one book that i'm actually starting to read is atomic habits by james clear i feel like every self-help nerd and their mom has read this book one of the things that i'm becoming more aware of is that habits are the foundation of your journey to success and we always want to be ambitious and start something new we 
have like all these new year's resolutions that we want to be consistent with but we only perform those activities when we're motivated motivation isn't just gonna cut it sometimes you're gonna feel down and that's just inevitable so you need these habits you need that foundation of being consistent so that despite of what you're feeling despite of your circumstances you would always have that foundation that habit that you form in order to be consistent with those goals and that will help you achieve success okay i'm going on a tangent here i actually want to start reading right now before it gets late and i'm gonna film myself reading to hold me accountable a chapter. I'm sleepy now so I'm gonna read more tomorrow. Today has been a very productive day. I'm super sleepy so I'm gonna go sleep now.